Scott County farmer Gary Riddle brought about 30 goats from his stamping ground farm this spring to graze these fields at Bluegrass Station, which were once a landfill. Since the 1980s, the landfill has been capped with about five feet of compacted clay and soil on top of that. Bluegrass Station, a former Army base, is now maintained by the State Department of Military Affairs in Kentucky. The cost of mowing and maintaining the fields is what led to the idea of letting the goats graze it. With this program with the goats, uh, it eliminates the cost of mowing, also eliminates, of course, any emissions from the mowing equipment. So that saves us money and it's a more of a green approach. We are responsible for maintaining the turf on top of the landfill. Now the turf, the, the grass on top is an integral part of the cap of the landfill, okay? So you need that, you, you want to have a healthy turf on top of the landfill. And the goats should, after, you know, we have them out here for a year or two, the process of having the goats eating it and fertilizing it should give us a healthier, healthier uh, turf covering. That's when the University of Kentucky got involved in the project about three years ago. Terry Hutchins, a UK Extension Associate for Goat Management, contacted a couple of goat producers to see if they would be interested in bringing some of their goats to graze the fields on the former landfill. I mean, if you look at the cost of mowing, uh, you're looking at 45 to $50 per acre minimum uh, mowing cost. This, this, this way, the, there's, there's just really no cost uh, to the farmer other than his transportation here and certainly no cost to the land manager. Hutchins says it's an ideal situation for the goats because an eight-foot chain-link fence around the fields keeps the goats inside and protects them from predators. As many as 60 goats have been grazing three different fields this summer, and for Gary Riddle, it has been a positive experience. It's been good. It's been good. I'm only about 45 minutes. It takes me about 45 minutes to get here, of course. And it's worth the travel to have the goats on good pasture and out of the way. I think it would help both parties because uh, they're cleaning up the fence and uh, the bad places where you can't get to with the tractor. And uh, they've cleaned up the fences pretty well. They were about half covered with bushes when we first put them in and now they've cleaned them out. Riddle says he checks on the goats a couple of times a week to make sure they have plenty of water and mineral. The idea of using goats to keep municipal areas like Bluegrass Station maintained could catch on around the country. I hope that lots of people will look at this project and a few others like it and go, gosh, there's no reason why we can't do that uh, and start running these goats in green spaces in cities. We feel that by using animals rather than mowing, we'll have a much denser uh, uh, stand of, of grass. The goats will take out all the woody material and, uh, and maintain the cap much better than, than mowing. 